through the ethics and principles that we have, we strongly suggest follow the rules. Don't deviate and think you slip. Which has been a, a downfall for most of our folks. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they get something and they feel like, okay, well, I can take advantage of this. They're not going to know. And I, be, I, I really want to say, what makes you think these people are stupid? They're giving you hundreds of thousands of dollars and they're kids. You are the fool to pass this up for a chance to get a few extra dollars. This is your legacy, your home, your business. Whatever you're doing for your family or yourself, writers know how strongly you have to use your word. If one word doesn't fit, and I'm telling you this from a writer's standpoint and from a grant writer's standpoint, research it. Get the thesaurus. Become friends with it. Get your dictionary. Pay attention to the wording in the guidelines because that's the same wording, the type that you're going to give them back. Not your language, but their language. That's what the guidelines are for. To let you know what you're supposed to do. I don't care how simple it may look or how you think you get over follow the guidelines. Please. And again, if you don't get funded, sometimes you can contact the grants manager or the charity officers and ask them what you did wrong. How could you correct it? Can you resubmit it? And in most cases, if you're interested enough to find out your flaws and change them, they'll give you an extension that you resubmit. And that's the fact. Now, like I said, the grand writers market is wide open. Our population is growing old, and these are the baby boomers of which I am one. I'll be 62 in a couple months. We're starting to live longer. And it's going to keep continuing the way it looks. Till God calls us home. 